Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. I am Burn. My father Curtis is over here and my friend James is operating the camera. Say hi James. Hi. Today is a very special day because it is my birthday. And it is also the birthday of this bottle right here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Well this is the bottle that we went all the way to Wisconsin because it's the only place we could find it. And what it is, is it's a, a blended whiskey. And according to the information that I found, one of the whiskeys that's blended in was put into the barrel in April of 1992, which is the month of your birth. Yep. And I've always liked Glen Ross, so we're gonna find out if we like this one or not, because it's, you know, part of it is in the same month that you were born. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. It's 27 years old. Well, not all that was in the barrel. Oh, okay. Well, parts of it are 27 years old. Then. <laughs> it's very old. It's definitely going to be the oldest whiskey that I have tried. We have um, some of the wonderful gifts. Yes. For, for the viewers that don't know, um, Burn does all the music for uh, both both barrels and, and for the, the whiskey tears. Yep. So if the soundtracks that you're hearing is what Burn composes. Yep. So for his birthday, he got this lovely collection of pillows. He yep. has plenty of uh, noise suppression pedals, but you can never have enough, yeah, right? Yeah, you can never have enough gates. Yeah, so why don't you tell people about this? Okay, well, this is the Infinite Juts from Hologram, and it does some cool, weird stuff. I don't really know how to explain all the things that it does. It makes pretty ambient sounds, and it also does cool, glitchy things. Uh, this thing is a kill switch, essentially, but it's a telegraph stutter, that's what you call it. Morse code. Morse code little button thing, so you can make your sound turn on and off by doing that. It's kind of weird and fun. This is just a simple little noise gate, and then my father also got me this album by Andy Stott, which we were listening to in the car, and it's very nice. James was gracious enough to give me this poster, of course of the lovely Hatsune Miku. It's great. It's great, it is fantastic. I'll need to find a frame for it, in fact. Back to our oh. peated cast reserve. Uh, Space Eyed, single malt whiskey. I'm, and it is, of course, from Scotland. Mm -hmm. Back in shot so people can see it. And we'll give one to James. And one to you, one to me. Happy birthday. Thank you. It smells really nice. It's got some spice to it. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely fruit, like kind of got some fruity to it, citrusiness. Well, you know, for all the trouble we w I went to to get this for you, mm -hmm. and you know, I really hope that it turns out to be a really wonderful whiskey. I hope so too. Now we invited the boys to come over, but it was last minute, and we didn't know that we were going to do this, and they already had plans. So um, they'll get a chance to try this later, right? Maybe. Maybe. Definitely singes the nose hairs. Yes. I'd say that's pretty nice. I'd say it's pretty nice. It's very intense. There's a lot going on on the palate. I'm gonna need to try that again. I was kind of, I was like overwhelmed for a second by everything that was going on. Yeah, uh, very smooth. A bit of a bitter edge on the end. Slightly. <coughs> that means it's good. It is kind of bitter, uh, pleasingly bitter, I would say. Oh yeah, I'm not saying the bitterness is bad. It, that some of that smokiness is present. It, it, it has some like fruity characteristics. It's not quite as fruity as I was expecting, but it is. It's still really nice, um, smoky. A little bit of peony peat. You kind of get some like nectar kind of flavors towards the end of the finish. That's kind of lingering on the palate. I'm noticing so yeah, yeah, yeah nectar kind of things. Like I said, it is a blend, mm. and some of the blends were uh, 25 years. Uh, I, I don't know all of the blends, uh, and this is just the research I did. I was trying to find one. The, the bottle that I was trying to get, I could not get at all. And it was the same exact bottle, except it was nothing but the one that was yours. It wasn't wow. blended. And uh, it was uh, expensive, but I couldn't even get it. I mean, I tried. I tried to get it in Wisconsin. I tried to get it in Illinois. And I, I just, I could not find it. I found one person that said that they would sell me a bottle, but it was going to be close to a grand. Wow. And I love my son, but <laughs> that's a lot of money for a single bottle. So, we got this, which has part of it in it. Nice. A, l a little bit of everything from that year, too, because I believe uh, 
James, your birthday. Yep. It's January, right? Yep. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. so you probably have a little bit of your birthday month in here as yeah, well. Probably, probably a little bit. Could be, yeah. Like I said, I don't know all of them, but I know that one was specifically called out. Hmm. So, a- as usual, Glen Roth does not disappoint. No. No. It, it's nice. It is... It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. It's very light. Mm-hmm. But uh, even though it's light, it has a lot of flavor, a lot of impact. Yeah, I, I, I think I think you got a good bottle there. I think it's a very good bottle. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. James, did you have anything you wanted to add? Anything yeah, you liked about good. it? It is damn good. <laughs> I think uh, I may have a little bit more and then enjoy a nice cigar in a little bit, along with the uh, birthday cake that we have. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to get around to answering them eventually. Be sure to share this video around if you enjoyed it, of course. And as always, thank you for watching.